Hi for day guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Emma May for everyone who doesn't know me. Um, welcome to the fam. So today I'm going to continue my sequel of videos that have to do with COVID-19 and the coronavirus. Um, the cases, the situations, the information that I know and just how it's all affecting me and the island that I live on. I just want to put a real quick disclaimer out there. I don't know much i'm just getting my information where everybody else is getting their information so if i'm wrong or if i'm incorrect please comment below and just correct me nicely um i would love to know more about anything that i'm talking about but i'm doing my best to do the research that i can to try to inform you guys on what's going on i also just want to say that my heart goes out to everybody that's suffering in this situation whether you have covid 19 or you're struggling with money or anything in between um, you guys are most definitely in my mind and in my heart. I feel like it's very important to document these moments and talk about these things So I really hope you guys enjoy my video and please don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff And let's get straight into it Honestly, like don't even know where to start. As everyone knows, COVID-19 is spreading extremely fast and it's hitting pretty much every single country and this does not exclude Guam. Now, before I get into the facts and the figures of everything that's going on with the COVID-19, let's talk a little bit about Guam. Well, Guam is a little island in the Pacific Ocean that's about a three hour flight from Japan and a three hour flight from the Philippines. The island itself is 212 miles squared, which is really, really, really small, very, very small. Tiny. We are a US territory, which means we are US citizens, but we do have our own government here. So they are the ones that make a lot of the choices. We have a population of about 168,000 people, which is also very, very small. The number one way that Guam brings in money is actually through tourism. We have a lot of people coming from the Philippines, Australia, Japan, Korea, and other Asian areas. There's a lot of people coming in every single day and there's a, not a lot of space for everyone to be in. So of course, there's a lot of connection with people. People are always crossing paths. There's always like germs going around and things spread very, very fast. As of March 31st, we've had 58 cases of COVID-19 on Guam. Two people have already passed away. Seven people have recovered and the rest are still in isolation. 58 cases may not seem like a lot to you, but because our island is so small and our population is so small, and the fact that we've only been testing for about a week and a half, maybe two weeks, this actually equals about five to six people a day that have been diagnosed with COVID-19. COVID-19 is spread through the interaction of people and with so many people coming onto Guam every single day, this is most likely the reason or how it spread so fast. Side note, I'm actually in quarantine with my entire family right now. Um, it's gonna be about two weeks. I'm almost done, I think. So when I flew into Guam from New York, everybody on the flight was told that they had to be in quarantine for about two weeks. We were given a specific date and we were also giving some paperwork to fill out and to hand in just saying that we acknowledge the fact that we need to be quarantined and we're gonna be voluntarily doing that ourselves. This is one way that the Guam government and health agencies are trying to make sure that COVID-19 is being contained and not spreading as fast. Governor Leon Guerrero also stated that non-essential operations and social gatherings will be suspended until April 13th. About five days ago, restaurants were told that they were no longer allowed to be open, but as of yesterday, they were all reopened if they wanted to, to do only takeout meals. There are also a few businesses that are working together with churches to feed the homeless. Many markets are also being closed, but they do have the ability to stay open if they need to because you're only allowed to go outside of your house currently if you need essentials. Payless Supermarket is one of those that are open and are being used by many, many people, but they have created a new restriction. Everybody that enters the building must be wearing a mask and there's only a certain number of individuals that are allowed in and out at a certain times. They've also been emphasizing the fact that they don't really want people to be using reusable bags unless they're sanitized. I also wanna add that the islands around us are not safe either. Saipan officials have confirmed the death of one individual suspected of having COVID-19. This individual was 70 years old and although they cannot confirm or deny that it is COVID-19, they do have their suspicions. This is really sad because our islands are all connected and we're all one big family. Like I said, I'm not an expert in the subject, but I really, really, really do think that everybody should stay inside or at least try to avoid contact as much as they can with other people. We want to stop this from spreading so fast and hopefully 
it will just stop spreading all together. Please comment below if you have any questions, comments, or any other information for anything that you would like me to share. Also, don't forget to share this video so that we can spread this information as fast as we can and we can stop this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope everybody is staying safe.